normally the chocobos fly off when you get off of them, or the yellow ones ditch you. Oh, that's a cool effect. Mm, I like it. It's subtle, but I like it. Cool. Is any, I think there's like uh, something in here is weak to fire at least. You're a wizard, Cecil. that free healing rather than wasting time his damage with magic rods has been really bad all right Cecil gets to go in the back row because Yang's the only one that has uh, a melee weapon oh the magnetic field oh no we stand invincible with my magic. I can win us three battles. Hopefully there's not more than three enemies in here. Boy, is that not very valuable. Like that cat that it's it's not necessary to one shot the paladin in the first fight no one likes this dungeon this is the worst dungeon all right well Tella using that is not helping um, I really thought that at least that would be somewhat useful, but... Hmm... Mithril? He's probably gonna be paralyzed. Oh, and test it out. Maybe it's just better if he is paralyzed. Yeah. You might be better off with Tella not helping. You power leveled to 99? Why? There are enemies that give you a lot more experience than that. I mean, I guess I take the plus 5 intellect, but... Yeah, Tello's just not going to really contribute unless I spend his MP. But that's not enough. <laughs> that's that's too much grinding. The ordeal is the is the friends you made along the way to level 99 over the course of two weeks of grinding. Kill it. Yes, that's the break. The break kill. It is... Unfortunately, you'd never know if you just killed them with damage or the status, but... Uh, at least they work sometimes. Okay. Ah, uh, Final Fantasy IV doors. Let's see how they work here. At least these ogres aren't mad, you know. Just regular ogres. Just get ogre it, chat. There you go. Break getting another kill. Awesome. So the Medusa arrows, not 100% by any means, but uh, they've been getting us some value, I'd say.
Oh, Tella never gets better. Tella starts awesome, and just, that's it. That's as good as it gets. He starts off as awesome as he will ever be, basically. Nah, you don't want to kill Tella. I do like that the Draculady Batgirl kind of is attached to the ceiling. I don't see that in a lot of JRPGs, right? Everybody, all the enemies are either flying or walking. Having an enemy that's attached to the roof seems pretty cool. Is there, uh... No treasure to the side of this room. Okay. Well, we don't really need a heal yet. We might as well save, I guess. We've been doing pretty well other than the whole, uh... Blaster snipe. Hmm, this could be fun. We'll do all the battle. Sorry, Tella, your mind has been eaten. But it got better. So normally, well, I mean, there could have been a secret in that last room. I, I mean, I was checking, but... Um, usually, in the remasters, the map will show you if there's something to the left or the right. Kind of cheating, but... Hey, the map's in the game. Killed the snake girl, killed the bat girl. Yeah. I'm a bad, bad let's player. Spared the bard. I let him die once. I definitely let him die and kept him down. Okay. TV settings to see the secret passages. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. St I like that strategy. Break is uh. Maybe, I wonder, we should check if Sid's getting more attacks. Because it's definitely, like, possible that every hit is a chance to, um, you know, cause Petrify. That's how it usually works. So four attacks at low damage, but uh, four chances to, to turn you to stone, you know, that's, that's good. Lower accuracy, interesting. Effective against giants. Details like that, I'm not familiar with. I, uh, I like the build so far. All right, we're almost done. And we haven't had to use any MP, so... Value travel. D&D waifu's a giant. Same as the last room. Still no secret passages. There should be. I would have put a secret passage in here. You can only have one mega enemy in this game at a time, so... They're all... Whether it's Golbez or his uh, successor... They're all the same, right? Well, Tell is only here to kill Golbez, so 
he doesn't really care about killing all these random bats. These bats are just in the way. And it's not... Ooh, they're the ogres. So the Fairy Claw did a lot of damage to ogres. More than... Definitely more than I remember. So you could get that weapon first, and then kill the mad ogres with Yang very easily. That's cool. I don't think I've ever done that myself, but... No solo, no. I'm just doing it... A, I'm giving it a first attempt to see how it, uh, how it plays. I know some people would like to see a solo Cecil one day. Maybe one day I'll try it, but... Not yet. I'll probably want to speed up the auto battle if we're ever doing a solo challenge. Just to uh, save a lot of time for grinds and all that. Uh, just in case. But it should be fine. Oh, right, this guy. You cannot defeat me with those weapons. Weapons. <laughs> what a terrible sprite. All right. Defeat him. The Dark Elf. It should change his uh, in-game sprite. Well, that's a lot of damage. Oh, no, not good. Well, we're dead. Thanks, guys. Thanks for playing. Wrap it up. Uh, re reload. You only need to win one fight on Mount Ordeals and you'll be level 20, so... It's just hard to start. Yeah, Astos is back. Maybe this is his uh, great-grandson. If only I had a sword! Too bad we're dead. I... I can help my friends, if only I can play a song. I must... I must get to my harp. Oh, it's so difficult! You're in no condition to walk five feet to play the harp. What are you doing? I'm so weak! Oh, playing music is hard! I must! I must continue walking! No, don't bring it to me! I will crawl towards it! I'm the only one who can play the harp. Let me crawl across the floor. Five feet, ten feet, I'm almost there. Okay, I made it. Now, the most difficult challenge for a bard is to play my, my, um, my one song. Huh? Don't start the, the Theodore stuff with the huhs. Gah! What is this horrible sound? Okay, Dark Elf was right. <laughs> no, not music! I can't stand the power of music. <laughs> Bards, my one and only weakness. I never thought a party would bring a bard into the dungeon. Actually, we didn't. Uh... Against the... Like, there's no way we're gonna... Sleep? I don't think it's hit anything with sleep yet. So, we'll just... It does do more damage, though. Uh, I don't know. 16% accuracy for... 15 damage? Uh, maybe. Anyway, full armor. Woohoo. And, uh, Sid... I mean, you know, we don't really have a whole lot for you to do. You're not gonna turn him to stone. I, I don't know. It says effective against mages. He's the mage. Maybe it works extra on him. I haven't actually, I've never tested it out, but we'll try. And, um... Yeah, we've got two silver armlets. Okay, good to go. Kill him. No ruby ring? We're not going to get turned to a pig, are we? I mean, it doesn't really make much difference. Bit more magic defense. I'm going with paladin gear. We're a paladin this day. Alright. Kill him. And if you're a mage, the trick is usually to try slow. There you go. Game over. Game over. 
The, the arrow, the silence arrows didn't seem to be very effective. Does he pig you? Yeah, I don't know. He's also slowed, so it's fine. Now, I don't remember magic doing a whole lot of him to damage. Like, I sort of remember this being more of a white magic kind of spell. Let's try, uh... Eh. More damage. He's gotta be dying. There it is. Neat. I bought it. I know I bought the stuff. There it is. Not a big deal. Sid, say your prayers! Um, Sid, uh, doesn't really do much damage, so. So we could have slowed down and got everyone all buffed up with haste and stuff, but, eh. We're fine. Actually, I haven't used study, so let's try study. Have a study. Nothing. What? Not that again, where it doesn't even work. Oh, I hate it when they make those abilities not even work. So dumb. Here you go. Everything's on Yang. He's doing the most damage. By a pretty big margin. Oh, never mind. Too easy. Well, bosses, you know. Hey, at least he got more attacks than the last boss. The last boss got killed before he attacked us even once, so... He, he tried. It can, cannot be with the crystal, my eternal life. Ah. I feel like it's got to be some kind of French accent or something, right? Where you really, like, super stereotypically accent the last sort of um, syllable. There's got to be a way to do that that's probably super offensive, but... Yeah, the DS version's probably the one to play if you want these bosses to be a bit more of a challenge. A bit. Alright, good time, good time. I'm not walking out of here slowly. Sa uh, crab blue! Uh, uh, no, I... <laughs> Stop me. Someone stop. Okay, so Black Chocobo just autopilots auto home. Uh, but, no need for tents when you can just, uh... Heal up. Thanks, White Chocobo. Now, how does the White Chocobo restore your MP is the next question. I played the After Years. I mean, I played the PSV version, but... I played the game. Pheromones? Hmm. Does it mean it pees on you? Chocobo milk. Hmm. Birds birds don't have milk, Robert. They're not they're not mammals. <laughs> Where are you getting this milk from? I, I have some concern. Ah, uh, look, he lived. Birds do have milk? Hmm. Mm. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Maybe for some definition of milk. But certainly not from a mammary gland on a mammal, like most people would consider milk. 
Uh, I look forward to fighting alongside... No, I don't. Liar. A phoenix tear. Okay, I believe... Uh, I'm happier with that. You make the chocobo cry, and then it heals you. Yes. We're going with Blastonite. <laughs> That's the solution. <laughs> chocobo tears. That's the uh, less problematic solution, I think. Sure, you have to smack the chocobo to make it cry, but I <laughs> we're okay with animal violence, but not that other part. <laughs> oh no, it's Cain! Remember, the plan all along was to get this crystal and trade it for Rosa. Any notable changes? Uh, some things suck. Like, item magic. Bosses are pretty easy. Like, using a staff to attack or a dancing dagger is all pretty pretty useless. Pretty much rubbish. It's pretty close to the uh, Super Nintendo version, but maybe a bit easier. Maybe I'm just really good at video games, but it feels like it's a bit easier than the original. Where's the Earth Crystal? Where's Rosa? Tower of Zot, now come along. Remember, these are the two players that are mad and they're fighting over their girlfriends and D&D. So, Kane has been having a separate solo campaign with the Dungeon Master while the main party with Cecil is off doing whatever. All while the girlfriend, Rose, is playing... Uh, she's, she's playing some Smash Brothers on the TV now. Where are you hiding? How dare you bring us to the Tower of Zot and disappear? Gold is... I never thought you'd make it this far. Now, instead of defeating you myself, I'll let you run around my dungeon, gathering up magical items and artifacts, gaining levels off of killing my minions, and eventually running into me or one of my other minions. That's how it works, right? Rose is at the top of the tower. Bring me the crystal and you can have her. If you can make it! Ha 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 ha! He probably should have put a time limit on it, I suppose. But he's not the smartest villain, you know? I sure hope we get some kind of fire sword soon. We could try... Let's try some more Medusa air. Oh, we confused them with the Fairy Claw! Nice! It did work. No, no petrifies, but... Uh... Um, would I say it's easier than the, the easy type version? This is why, uh, <laughs> in case you guys are wondering, this is why you don't bother to buy the Mithril Mail. By the time you can wear heavy armor, you can just get flame armor, which is better than Mithril. And then you save yourself 17,000 gold, so. There's your blue inky little stride of the day. Ooh, got him! And normal got him. Music is nice. Feels like we're in an evil villain lair, you know? I'll see you in hell, turtle. Should have changed role with uh, Tella. That was a mistake. Do fire arrows work? Yes. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> I thought I told Tella to defend. Uh, I mean, do we really need him around? He's just kind of stealing experience. He doesn't really contribute a whole lot. All 
Where am I even going here? Yeah, I mean, the fire arrows work on cold beasts, but, uh, you might be able to turn them to stone with the Medusa arrow. Like that. Maybe. You can never really know if you killed them with petrify or damage. These guys have a big AoE. That's gonna hurt. Those guys in packs are really bad. In fact, I'm not sure if it's usually one of them guarding the chest. I kind of remember fighting three or four and having a bad time. Anyway, better sword. There's a lot of windy roads that all lead the same area. Okay, you know what? I've tried the Medusa arrows. They don't really live up to the hype. We can switch over to elemental arrows, see how they do. Oh, I forgot to change the uh, closet. There. That little horn flare at every battle is kind of surprising. Yang is tearing it up. Definitely uh, feel like he's strong. I, I kind of think our levels are going a little bit higher than normal, right? Like, it seems like our power scales up very quickly in this version. And I'm not trying to really grind. We're just killing things as we go. So, I would probably be a higher... I would probably spend more time killing enemies and gaining levels normally to have the same power that we feel right now. I can't remember which way is the correct path. Actually, I'm pretty sure the right side is... The right side, I believe, is progression. But, I mean, if it cuts out on grinding, you know, I'm not a huge... I don't hate it. Confusion is better, but accuracy is really nice. I think auto battle makes a huge difference. Normally, there's a lot of delay between getting your action and attacking when you input attacks. Um, it's kind of like we're always berserked without the bonus damage. Which would make the game a lot easier back on SNES. Also, um... I betcha. Uh, on the Super Nintendo versions, the battle speed was kind of... It was kind of bugged. Um, each of the battles, 4, 5, and 6, the games 4, 5, and 6, uh, the battle speed worked a little bit differently, but a lot of times, battle speed meant enemy speed. And this is kind of like your difficulty slider. <laughs> so putting it on slow actually meant you had more time to input commands, and the enemies didn't go as fast. I can't remember how FF4 did it, but oftentimes the lowest setting was easy mode and the highest setting was hard mode. It was weird. But yeah, auto battle so that Yang attacks and kills something before they get a turn really cuts down the number of enemy attacks that we're fighting, I think. I made that call pretty early on when I started the stream, but I honestly think auto-battling at the beginning is um, a lot of the reason we're having an easy time. Like, if I don't use auto-battle, let's see, maybe it's not the, 
Maybe it won't change much. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. Maybe it's just easy. Maybe I'm making excuses for the game. Now, that's a fun weapon, the Gaia Hammer. It does a ton of damage. But you can use Quake. Is it always done that? <laughs> It'll probably be pretty weak, though. So far, our item magic has sucked, but... Uh, test that out. Let's see what we get. I wouldn't expect much, but we'll see. 200, 300? Is it worth it? Oh, Rune Armlet. Neat. That's, uh, that's a pretty good drop. I mean, we'll bring him back to life before the, the end of the dungeon, so... It probably scales off stats, um... The problem is, you can only use item magic if, if you can equip it. So I can't bring Tella back to life and have him use the, uh... The Gaia Hammer. So it'll only be as powerful as uh, Sid can make it. It's okay, but I don't think that's enough damage to really win me over. It's more damage than his regular attack, but it's a slower animation, you know? All right, almost done the tower, I believe. We'll bring, uh, what's his name back here in a minute. So, uh, it didn't really matter if he was alive or dead, but it did kind of speed up the levels on the rest of the team, right? So, Tella, I would say, honestly, if you're trying to play relatively optimally, if you want, you don't need to, but if you want to play optimally, you probably should leave him dead most of the time. He runs out of MP very quickly and can't contribute to battle against random enemies once he runs out of MP. Yeah, Sid with the... I should try the other one out, yeah. Um, Sid with the flame arrows has been doing okay. But I do want to equip the Gaia Hammer on him anyway, so... Let's go to standard formation. And try out the Gaia Hammer. Seeing as we've got it, it is really strong. Um, upgrade here a little bit. I need more Gaia gear. Or can he... Maybe he can't wear Gaia gear. Yeah. I didn't buy him any Iron Armor or Mithril Armor. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Sid doesn't really... Sorry, Sid, you just don't matter very much. Alright, let's go. It should be fine, but you never know. We haven't had a good boss fight in at least 10 minutes. Big sis, really big sis, little sis. Maybe tall sis, big sis, little sis. Old sis, large sis, small sis.
There's not much they can do until they revive the little, the dead sister. And by then, we'll be pretty well buffed up. You could just focus Cindy at the back. So the hammer is not doing much. I was kind of thinking um, the Gaia hammer would be a little bit better, but... <laughs> Try to reflect me again. Oh, wow. Wow! Uh, that was a boss, I guess. They didn't even revive her once, and uh, we just basically... Berserk... Berserk Yang just killed them all. Their, their triple attack did 200 damage, right? To someone with very low magic defense. Uh, Sid probably has the worst magic defense. He should. And they still only did 200 damage, so... Yeah, the bosses are not very tough. I wouldn't be surprised if the end game bosses are a bit stronger. But at the moment, uh, mid game, pretty chill. Welcome! Time to die! Rosa better be okay. Fine, have my crystal. What if we just killed him instead of giving him the crystal? Now, where's Rosa? Ha! Who are you talking? So, Golbez is the DM. Ha ha ha! Thank you for the pizza delivery! I don't know where the girl is. She, I think she went home half an hour ago. You were fighting about it for so long. Ah, we gave you the pizza! Give us the girl! Ignorant daughtered! She's already left! Your fighting has caused her to flee! How dare you! You killed my daughter! Well, no. Look, chill, chill, chill. I Hold on, don't throw the pizza at me! She... It was just a character, just role-playing, dude. Look, you don't need to do this. I'm the dungeon master. You can't... You can't kill me. <laughs> Feeble spells. How foolish are you? You cannot defeat the dungeon master, no matter what type of magic you cast. Cone of Cold, Fireball, Lightning Bolt, none of them matter. <laughs> Don't cast it, Te Tella, you're too old for this. You can't defeat the DM like that. Oh no, Meteor. You cast Meteor Shower. Oh, you got me. <laughs> How did you learn that spell? You're only level 7. <laughs> you're not supposed to have this level 9 spell slots yet. I guess you win. Well, you may have won. I don't know how you learned how to cast that spell. Can I check your character sheet for a second? That doesn't seem fair. I don't think you had a spell slot ready. Um, let's just say uh, he didn't really have a spell slot and he, 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 he had to spend his life to do it. None of you know how to cast Raise Dead, right? Okay. So, he doesn't really know how to cast that spell, so he kills himself, and I guess you kind of collateral damaged Kane? Someone threw a rock at him or something? Alright, well, whatever. You know, I am the DM, so it's not like you can kill me. Uh, I'm gonna bounce. Thanks for the crystal. Impudent fool, can you not see that the DM is invincible? I have any spell I want to have. If you continue to challenge me, your character sheet will be split and torn. Torn in two twain. I don't know, too much old English. Split in twain. Uh, finish me. Well, I could, but then no one would come to the session next time. We're using your house. This is this is your basement table, you know. If I kill you, no one will come, so... I can't defeat the paladin, or else we won't have a session. Oh no, a <laughs> Peter conflict. Uh, we'll settle this next time on Blue Ankylo plays Final Fantasy IV. Oh, well, guys, how's uh, how's the old man doing? Maybe he had like a heart attack from all the drama there. Too much meteor, couldn't do it. Well, I'm okay, but my character sheet's ruined. I don't I don't even know who I am anymore. Just hold still. Uh, I should have known better than to edit my character sheet without the DM's permission. This is what happens. 
Never cheated D and D. No, the character sheet burns in a fire. Did anyone take a picture on it with their phone? Do we have any backups? Do we have a PDF? Someone, please. I can't even remember his flaws and uh, bonds anymore. It's all fading. How many spell slots? Did he have any equipment? It's gone. It's all gone. It's ruined. I will avenge you. I will defeat the dungeon master one day. Oh yeah, what about my buddy? Is he okay? Have you regained your senses? Well, actually, I was kind of just full on pizza. The Whew, ate a little bit too much pizza there. Had to have a little nap. But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, now that I'm not so hungry, I guess we can be friends. You know, I got a little bit caught up on the fight uh, trying to trying to win the girl again. And Where is she, anyway? I thought she, I thought she left. The dungeon master said she went home. There's a knock on the door. Quick! Quick! Let her inside! Oh, wow. She almost left forever. The wind almost blew her character sheet out from her hands. She was about to rejoin us, and we almost lost her from a wind attack from above. I guess uh, I guess we're still friends then. She really she really prefers the player of Cecil. Kane is very upset, but uh, at least he's had his dinner. The pizza has helped. And I guess he's happy for his friends to, to finally get together. Come on, Kane. You can handle it. Yeah, don't worry. He's fine. He had a pizza. The meteor spell also was really confusing. So, um... I don't know where that came from, but I guess we're friends. Truthfully, I was not under the spell. I was actually... Jelly. Okay, we don't need any more edge lords at the table. We gotta just man up and apologize. It's okay. We can we can defeat the boss together. If we if we if we work together, we can do it. Let's be friends. All right, group hug. Yeah, exactly. Old man, save the corny drama for later. Let's get out of here. This is ridiculous. Way too much socializing. Let's let's get back to playing D and D and killing dragons and doing dungeons. Sid is. I like Sid. All right, we got ourselves a Rosa and a Kane. Serious music. I guess Kane can stay in the back. Well, Sid could stay in the back too. I could give him a bow again. What you got, Kane? I could give you the Blood Lance. It's not very accurate. Wow. 30%. Dang. Didn't buy him anything other than Mithril. But that's really valuable armor, we know. Oh, I could do that at least. Uh, there you go. So now he's got uh, protection to Ice. Same as... Uh, not like it matters, but... You know. No, tell us... He lost his character sheet. He can't come back. Sure. Ooh, oh, gold hairpins. Good. Real good. Where did we get that? Did we get that in Eblin Castle? Because, boy, Lucky Rosa. Oh, man, she's laughing. Look at this. Rune armlet. Gold hairpin. She is... Now, this is more of a black mage thing. But I don't have... Well, I guess the wizard hat is plus three spirit. Maybe we'll save this for someone else. Technically. Nah, she can have it. Who needs spirit? Sorry, Sid. Get to the back row. It really doesn't matter. Just be in the back row. 
I don't really have armor for him, so he can just be in the back. <laughs> it seems Master Gulpus has underestimated. The Lord of Wind Barber Barbershop Quartet has arrived. Falling back with the weaklings. You snotty little wretch, I'll kill all of you. With the old man gone, you're no chance. No match for me. The third elemental fiend, the fiend of wind. No, no, no. Okay, what do we got? Um, maybe. I never remember. I never know. It works. Good. Bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Gradual petrification on the white mage. Maybe. Oh, there's the focus. That was good timing there. I like that. Uh, so we don't have haste anymore uh, yet. We can... We slowed her, which is good. We can put Blink on people. We can just heal people. That's always nice. Let's try to keep Rosa alive. That's more important. Get a little bit of damage in there. She'll just go back into wind mode again in a minute. Nice to have a white mage, though. Okay, everyone's healed up pretty good. The boss is slowed, so we have a lot more time than normal. I did not mean to cast auto battle. One thing that's fun if you're playing the DS version is to hit Barbariccia with the Earth Hammer. I highly recommend it. It's a great idea. Let's see if I can do the timing here again. Oh, not fast enough. <laughs> Everyone will be dodgy. Blink is pretty good. Although I believe this is far overkill for the actual requirements to kill this boss. Anything else we got that's useful? Uh, everyone's blinky. I think it's like two or three hits in the original that that stops. I wonder if you can get rid of gradual petrification. Yeah. Okay, like it mattered. <laughs> We're just too strong, right? We're just too strong. Sorry, Robert's fifth ex-wife is dead. We had we had to put her down. She was too uh, too stormy. She kept raging all over the place, so we had to put her down. So uh, load-bearing boss, as they call them. As you defeat them, the tower collapses around them. We fought 
two bosses in a row. Golbez didn't count. The first one didn't really count either. Barbarichi was the true end boss of the dungeon. Yippee Kaye, Sid's jumping around. Yeah, the sisters don't really count as a boss in this version. They went down so easy. All right, we lost the earth crystal. We lost the water crystal. We lost the fire crystal. We lost the wind crystal. We got nothing. But it turns out there's more than four crystals in the underground. The dark crystals. We played Final Fantasy III. We got to go to the dark world. All right. Some other world. Definitely dark world. This game came out about the same time as uh, Link to the Past. Golbez knows. Let's go ask him. No, let's go underground. Are you sure about this? Well, that's what I heard. When all the crystals of light and darkness, a cloud will appear. I mean, a way to the moon. What? The moon? Who? Are you kidding me? Jimothy? Did you write uh, that we're going to the moon? Did you say the moon? Well, look, maybe I was drank, had a couple extra drinks when I was talking, but like, look. I heard, I have it in my notes, that if the bad guy gets all the crystals, he goes to the moon. I, just take it. I don't understand. It's weird. I don't know, man. I don't know if he can trust you. That sounds crazy. Just go underground. Stop him from going to the moon. Save the world. I don't know, man. The, this, this quest is off the rails. I don't know what's going on anymore. All right. But nothing can bring me down when Sid's music plays. All right, we'll just fly around the world. And even under the world. But we lost the airship. What do you mean? We got autopilot. She's already back home. She's as good as a black chocobo and flies home. All right. What would we do without you, Sid? Ha <laughs> ha you'd die. Good thing you got an artificer on the team that can build you an airship. He might not be the best in combat, but you would want those magic items. Why couldn't he kill me? I don't know, I don't know why he wouldn't finish me off. <laughs> you don't need to wonder. Rose's teleport spell brings her to the place that's the last place that she had a long night's sleep. <laughs> You don't have to wonder. All right, we're gonna take a short little break here. I need a, I need to stretch the old legs. We've been streaming for a few more hours. I'm gonna keep going for a bit longer. We're not gonna be able to beat the game in one session, but uh, we're gonna take a short break. I might have a little snack, just a three to five minute break. We can enjoy the overworld music, and maybe I'll switch to the uh, the music player in a little bit. But uh, yeah, snack break. Good, good, good time to to take a little pause, and I'll see you guys back in a few minutes. <laughs> 